And to finish the first batch of LEGO Fortnite sets, the only set remaining is the smallest one. The 77070 Dirt Burger contains 193 pieces and a yielded price of 15 euros or dollars, with a price per piece of 7.8 cents, which confirms that this theme is one of the best in terms of value per four part ratio. For those that do not know the game, Dirt Burger is a fast food chain that appears in several Fortnite universes, and this burger is its mascot, appearing as a display at the top of many of its restaurants. The set consists of two bags, and the building process is done from bottom to top, practically layer by layer. We start with the bread, then the meat, the cheese, which looks like a standing slice, but it isn't, the tomato, with an excellent use of curved bricks, and finally, more bread, as all sandwiches should be. In the last part, there is space for the eyes, ingeniously well placed and which can be slightly adjusted, and finally a toothpick running through the entire sandwich, just like you see in restaurants of this type, so that the burger doesn't fall apart. The only thing strange, but it's not regarding its design, but rather on the part of whoever designed the original Dirt Burger in the game. An olive? In a burger? And here is the finished set. Of the four sets, this is perhaps the least appealing to me, but it gave me an excellent idea for a creation, which I'll try to make in the upcoming weeks. It has some new recolored parts, namely the ones used to make the bread, the several curved bricks and the octonal plate in orange, as well as the tongue, are pieces that appear in new colors. For the rest, some useful elements like brackets and modified bricks. It is more elaborated than it looks, especially considering it's a 9 plus set. I like some solutions such as those used for the tongue and for the eyes, and the fact that it was very close to the image that appears in the game. When it comes to playability versus display and value for adults versus value for kids, this is clearly a display set, which seems a little odd considering it's a 9 plus set. It seems that LEGO has been investing in this content in some sets for the younger ones, perhaps thinking about that phase when kids no longer play with LEGO so much, but which can become display objects, especially things that are still for that target age, such as video game items. For adults, it could even be a good and affordable gift for those who play the game, but for those who build mocks and with some modifications, it can even be used as a stand for a burger place, right? Final score? 8 out of 10. For those who play the game, if you register the set at lego.com using the QR code in the instructions, you'll receive the Bright Starter Pack in-game. When registering the set, you'll also be re redirected to fortnite.com slash redeem, where you'll receive a code that allows you to redeem this pack, which includes an outfit, a backplink, and 13 decoration items, the decor bundle. Of course, anyone who has already purchased the pack or items will not be able to receive anything else in return but it's a good incentive for those who play and hopefully they will do the same thing if more Fortnite sets are released. So, what is your opinion on the set? Are you going to buy it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you LEGO for sending the set for review, opinions on it are my own. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the speed builds of these sets, as some other videos that with reviews and some classics. Most importantly, play well.